Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about very important and one of the best feature, I would say the best feature so far launched by ChatGPT and that is called Code Interpreter. It is in beta version right now and uh, if you have a plus membership of ChatGPT, then you will be able to see this feature Code Interpreter. In this video, I'll show you what are the different things we can do with it. So first of all, you need to enable this Code Interpreter from settings and then you need to enable Code Interpreter from here, right? And when you will enable it, you will see this plus icon. It shows that upload file. It is the biggest feature I would say in ChatGPT launched up till now uh, that we can upload any kind of file. It can be image, video, CSV file, Excel file, PDF file. And we can ask this code interpreter to analyze it, generate data. So let's go ahead and I'm going to upload different files uh, from my file directory. So I'll try this code interpreter by uploading these files at start. So let's start off with image. So I have created this image. So this is a YouTube video thumbnail. Can you tell me what can you do with it? and I can perform variety of images. It can do image analysis. Uh, it can have uh, ability to have character recognition inside the image. It can resize, rotate, uh, crop the image and uh, it can have a, a image classification feature as well. Okay, so can you analyze the image? So I uploaded a thumbnail of a video that I had just uploaded on YouTube, which is on the top four plugins of ChatGPT for programmers. Okay, if you want to look into that video, you can check out my channel. So now it is analyzing this image and uh, it's showing me that it's a format PNG. Uh, this is uh, its colorful image. This is the size of image and uh, some more details and currently uh, what i experienced with this code interpreter feature is that it cannot fully analyze the image that what shows if the image is showing a dog running on the road it will not be able to analyze that and i'm hoping that in the future it's going to analyze that okay so can you please convert this png image into jpg so i'm asking this code interpreter to uh, transform this image and uh, change its extension all right so it has actually uh, created this thing if i open this up and uh, it will be downloaded and you can see that it should be the same image that i uploaded and it's now in the form of jpg and i uploaded it in the form of png that's awesome that we can upload and regenerate and it gives us links to download the files and uh, for this image we can actually can you uh, uh, decrease the size of image uh, up to 2x so currently this was the size of image and now let's see if it makes the width and height uh, uh, a, a bit smaller so let's see yeah so it's resized now and uh, this is the resized image it's already in the jpeg because i already converted and now you can see uh, it is resized and it's half of the size which i uploaded over here and for the images i'm not gonna go further for the images and these are all the things it can do now i'm going to upload a video in the format of mp4 so can you tell what can you do with this mp4 video okay so it's currently uploading i think i need to wait for it until it finishes upload and uh, i also will be checking in the next file that can we upload multiple files at a time or not so it's almost complete and it's completed let's end it and i first asked that uh, what it can do with this video it can play the video it can edit the video so what are the things it provides for editing this can include cutting trimming adding effects 
changing the speed of video adding text so it's a built-in video editor guys it's so awesome so uh, transcoding uh, uh, we can have this uh, change the format we can extract the audio video analysis of course so let's first we can do all these things so I'm asking it can you uh, trim this video to 10 seconds from start so let's see if it's able to trim the video 10 seconds it's currently a long video I think around 50 seconds so let's see if it makes the video 10 seconds long so uh, let's do so it's actually converting it's processing it so this is a trimmed video if I click on this link it should be downloaded and uh, if I open it up let's see and you can see guys it's only 10 seconds that's so awesome we have a built-in video editor in chat GPT all right so now we have the video analysis you can try these things by your own so I'm gonna go and open up another file uh, and that is this uh, coding questions and this is the file I created let's see if we can select multiple files no currently we cannot select multiple files so we need to open up this file and uh, can you please analyze this document and solve all the questions added in this document using javascript programming language okay so it contains different programming questions so uh, i'm going to execute the javascript code my current environment is sports whoever i can certainly help you understand javascript problem so here are the question extracted all right so it is extracting all the questions from that document and uh, that's pretty good we don't need to copy paste different things from our file directory okay so first I added the basic questions and then I added the medium questions and there should be some advanced questions in that document so uh, I'm hoping that we would be able to change the format of this file which is in docs currently we should be able to uh, uh, add some more stuff for this we could be able to convert this docs into the CSV or Excel file so I can ask it to write the code for the basic so uh, let's say okay so I've asked this question without uh, giving it the programming language so how do you find a duplicate name in given array so it has chosen the python because the code interpreter actually uh, involved the python language by default for data science engineers for data analysis so i think that's why it has chosen this thing so this is how we can give it different files we can give it in the form of, i think we can give the docs format pdf format or any of format file to it one last and very important thing is the data analysis of this file and I'm going to give it a CSV file which is the data of products uh, I think it's the uh, products data from the Shopify store It's the sample file uh, can you tell me what are the things you can do with this file okay if we don't know what are the things we can do with this file um, it's pretty straightforward so it is going to show me it can view the data it can gen it should be able to generate some diagrams graphs and analyze the data what it shows and data visualization is one of the great feature of this thing so now can you I will be asking it can you please visualize the data can you please visualize the data in graphs and charts for this document okay and it's going to generate images okay so now it's working and while it's working uh, let's go up and uh, 
one thing that I found out that uh, this code interpreter let us run the code from inside and next I need to ask it that how can I run the code inside it which I forgot so let's uh, first let it complete so now it's working I think first it analyzed these titles uh, of the each of the products so these are the titles um, and uh, below it should be creating few diagrams so uh there was an image position status vendor tag so first it's analyzing the data within the document and it's giving us some details what each data is about and um, we should be able to uh, upload uh, other formats files as well it can be the excel files it can be the pdf files uh, it can be the csv files all right guys so you can see that on the runtime it is generating different diagrams this is so awesome and this is one of the main feature of code interpreter in chat gpt4 right so it has currently generated this diagram and it's keep on generating and uh, this is awesome we can ask it to generate different kinds of images graphs visualizations different analytical documents depending upon what kind of csv file we have all right so one of the main feature that i liked uh, in it that we can actually edit images and videos directly inside it we should be able to change the colors of images inside it right so for now last thing i forgot is that can i run the code can i run the code directly here so let's see as an a language language currently uh, i read some documentation that we should be able to run the code but currently i think it's not supported yet and uh, it's just in the testing phase these are the something we can do and uploading files and the data analysis and working with images videos and the files is awesome and we can we, we don't need to open up uh, other tools for image editing video editing for small stuff like changing the size cropping uh, trimming videos or uh, cropping videos this is what we can do directly with this uh, code interpreter plugin of chat gpt and we can uh, along with uh, uh, doing some processing we can also discuss about changes with the chat gpt and this is the one of the main features so i'll be creating more videos on chat gpt plugins and new features and um, thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel